Have you ever considered the possibility that time might work differently in space than it does here on Earth? It's a tantalizing question, isn't it? One that draws us into the realm of the unknown, the fascinating, the cosmic. Let's begin with the concept of time as we understand it here on our home planet. It's a simple linear progression, isn't it? We're born, we grow, we age, and all the while the hands on the clock keep ticking away, marking the inexorable passage of seconds, minutes, hours, days, years. The sun rises and sets, the seasons change, we celebrate birthdays and anniversaries, all in accordance with this concept of time. But is time really as straightforward as it seems? The answer, my friends, is a resounding no. Especially when we venture beyond the confines of our earthly existence and start considering the vastness of the cosmos. Time, you see, is not just a simple linear progression. It's a complex, multidimensional entity intricately intertwined with space, matter, and energy. Out there, in the farthest reaches of the cosmos, the rules of time as we know them start to bend and warp. The seconds might tick away slower or faster, depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. The concept of the present, past, and future might take on entirely new meanings, defying our earthly notions of sequentiality. The very fabric of time might stretch and contract, influenced by the gravitational pull of massive celestial bodies, it's a mind-boggling concept, isn't it? That time, this constant, unyielding entity that governs our lives, might not be as constant and unyielding as we think, but it's a concept that's absolutely crucial to our understanding of the universe and our place within it. So, let's dive deep into the cosmic ocean and unravel the mysteries of time in space. Let's embark on a journey beyond the familiar, into a realm where time is not a mere tick-tock on a clock, but a vast, complex tapestry woven from the threads of the cosmos. A realm where the question isn't just what time is it, but rather, what is time? To understand how time works in space, we first have to talk about a man named Albert Einstein. Now, you've likely heard of him. He's the guy with the wild hair who developed the theory of relativity. But what exactly is this theory all about? In the simplest of terms, Einstein's theory of relativity states that the laws of physics are the same for all observers, no matter their state of motion. It also tells us that light travels at a constant speed, regardless of the speed of its source. But here's where things start to get really interesting. Einstein's theory also suggests something mind-boggling about time and space. They're not separate entities, but rather a combined continuum, which we now call space-time. Picture it like a cosmic fabric, woven together by the threads of both space and time. Now, this cosmic fabric isn't rigid. It can be stretched, compressed, and even warped by the mass and energy within it. This leads us to one of the most fascinating implications of Einstein's theory. That time can be stretched or compressed. This concept, known as time dilation, suggests that time moves slower near massive objects and faster when you're moving at high speeds. So, what does this mean for our understanding of time in space? Well, it fundamentally changes it. Instead of time being a constant, ticking away at the same rate everywhere, it's now something that can be influenced by the universe around us. Einstein's theory opened up a whole new world of possibilities, including the idea that time might work differently in space. It's a concept that continues to challenge our understanding of the universe, and one that we'll delve deeper into as we explore the enigmatic realm of space-time. So buckle up, folks, because things are about to get even more interesting. One of the most fascinating concepts to emerge from Einstein's theory of relativity is time dilation. Now, what exactly is time dilation? Imagine you're aboard a spaceship journeying at near light speed. As you zip through the cosmos, your wristwatch ticks at a normal pace, but if we could observe your watch from Earth, it would appear to be ticking slower. This is time dilation. Time dilation is a difference in the elapsed time as measured by two observers. It's due to a velocity difference relative to each other or to a difference in gravitational potential between their locations. Sounds complex, doesn't it? Let's break it down further. First, let's consider velocity-time dilation. Velocity-time dilation occurs because the speed of light is constant for all observers. As you approach the speed of light, time slows down for you relative to someone who is stationary. This is like the spaceship example we mentioned earlier. 
Now let's talk about gravitational time dilation. This is the idea that time runs slower the closer you are to a massive object. Picture a clock at the top of a mountain and another at sea level. The clock at sea level, closer to the Earth's center, ticks slower than the clock at the top of the mountain. So why does this happen? Well, a massive object like Earth warps the fabric of space and time around it. This warping creates a gravitational well. The deeper you are in this well, the slower time moves. Now these effects are minuscule on Earth, and you'd need precise instruments to measure them. But they become significant when dealing with cosmic speeds and massive objects in space. Grasping the concept of time dilation can be a bit mind-bending, but it's a fundamental aspect of how our universe operates. It challenges our everyday perception of time as a constant, unchanging entity. This phenomenon of time dilation brings us a step closer to understanding how time works in space. Now that we have a basic understanding of time dilation, how does this apply to time in space? Let's take a moment to ponder this. Imagine, if you will, a spaceship hurtling through the cosmos at near the speed of light. Aboard this ship are astronauts living, breathing, and experiencing time much as they would on Earth. But there's a twist here, a quirk of the universe that is both fascinating and slightly mind-bending. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity and the phenomenon of time dilation, time aboard this speeding spaceship doesn't pass at the same rate as it does on our home planet. In fact, time appears to tick by slower on the spacecraft than it does on Earth. Why? Well, it's all due to the immense speed at which the spaceship is traveling. According to Einstein's theory, the faster an object moves, the slower time seems to pass for it. This is not a mere illusion, but a real measurable effect. It's a concept that seems straight out of science fiction, yet it's firmly grounded in the realm of science fact. So what does this mean for our astronauts? Well, if they were to embark on a journey at near light speed, they would age slower than their counterparts back on Earth. It's a bit like the universe's own fountain of youth, accessible only to those daring enough to venture into the great cosmic unknown. This doesn't mean our astronauts could return to an Earth thousands of years in the future, after a brief space jaunt, of course. The effect is subtle, but over time it could add up. After a year of travelling at near light speed, an astronaut might find they've aged only 11 months while a full year has passed on Earth. So, in a way, astronauts are time travellers, ageing slower than their counterparts on Earth. A whimsical thought, isn't it? But this is the reality of time in space, a testament to the strange and wonderful universe we inhabit. If you think time dilation is mind-boggling, wait until you hear about time around black holes. Now black holes are known for their immense gravitational pull, so powerful that not even light can escape their clutches. But did you know that this gravity also has a remarkable impact on time? In fact, the gravitational pull of a black hole is so intense that it stretches time to an extraordinary degree. Imagine a clock falling into a black hole as it nears the event horizon, the boundary marking the point of no return. Time for the clock would appear to slow down from an observer's perspective. This is because the closer the clock gets to the black hole, the slower it ticks, compared to a clock far away from the black hole. This slowing down of time, my friends, is not a trick of perception, but a very real, albeit mind-bending, consequence of gravity's influence on time. Now let's delve a bit deeper into the concept of event horizons. Essentially, an event horizon is the point around a black hole beyond which events cannot affect an outside observer. To put it simply, if something were to cross the event horizon, an observer would never be able to witness it. As for time, it would appear to stop entirely at the event horizon from an outside observer's perspective. An object crossing the event horizon would seem to freeze in time, stuck in a perpetual state of crossing, never actually disappearing into the black hole. In reality, the object would have already crossed the event horizon and be well on its way to the singularity, the core of the black hole. But, due to the extreme gravitational time dilation, we would never witness this event. So black holes are not just fascinating for their space-bending properties. They also provide a thrilling glimpse into the strange and wondrous world of time manipulation. Black holes, then, are not just space phenomena, but time phenomena as well. We've talked a lot about how time can be stretched and compressed, but why does this happen? 
Let's dive into the fascinating interplay between time and space. Picture a tightrope walker balancing delicately on a wire. Now imagine that the wire is not just a line, but a four-dimensional fabric. This is what we call space-time. Just as the tightrope walker's weight bends the wire under him, mass and energy warp the fabric of space-time. If we think of time as a river, it flows differently depending on the shape of the riverbed beneath it. In this case, the riverbed is space-time. When space-time is bent by mass or energy, it changes the way time flows. This is why time ticks slower the closer you are to a massive object, like a planet or a star. Now let's picture a bowling ball on a trampoline. The weight of the ball causes the trampoline to dip. If we roll a marble, it will move towards the bowling ball, not because of a direct pull from the ball, but because of the curve in the trampoline. This is exactly how gravity works. It's not just a force pulling objects together, but a warping of space-time around massive bodies. But what happens when space-time is not just bent, but twisted, like a whirlpool? This is where things get really interesting. According to some theories, such a twist could create a wormhole, a shortcut through space-time. But remember, these are just theories. We have yet to find concrete evidence of wormholes. In the grand cosmic ballet, time and space are not separate dancers, but partners, intimately intertwined. They shape each other and the universe around them. They form the stage on which the drama of the cosmos unfolds. Understanding this interplay between time and space brings us closer to understanding the true nature of our universe. It's a dance of cosmic proportions, one that we're only just beginning to comprehend. And as we continue our journey, who knows what astounding discoveries await us in the vastness of space and the depths of time. We've journeyed through the cosmos and delved into some of the most profound concepts of time and space. Our voyage has been enlightening, to say the least. As we prepare to return to our earthly realm, let's take a moment to reflect on the highlights of our stellar sojourn. Firstly, we explored Einstein's theory of relativity, a revolutionary concept that altered our perception of time and space. Einstein proposed that time and space are intertwined in a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. He suggested that the gravity of massive objects can bend this fabric, causing time to slow down. This groundbreaking theory laid the foundation for our understanding of time in space. Next, we delved into the intriguing phenomenon of time dilation. This is the idea that time runs slower for an object in motion compared to one at rest. So if you embarked on a journey at near light speed and then returned, you might find that while only a few years have passed for you, decades or even centuries might have passed on Earth. This concept, though mind-boggling, has been proven true by numerous experiments and is integral to the functioning of our GPS systems. We then turned our attention to time in space. We discovered that time is not a universal constant, but rather it varies depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. This means that astronauts aboard the International Space Station age slightly slower than people on Earth due to the effects of gravity and their high-speed orbit. Our journey also led us to the edge of black holes, where time behaves in even stranger ways. Near a black hole, the intense gravitational pull slows time to a crawl. If you were to hover at the edge of a black hole, time would pass slower for you than for someone far away. This is known as gravitational time dilation. Finally, we discuss the interplay of time and space. We learn that they are not separate entities, but rather aspects of a single, unified entity, space-time. The curvature of space-time by mass and energy dictates the motion of objects and the flow of time itself. Though the concept of time in space might seem complex, it's a cornerstone in our quest to understand the universe. And who knows, one day we might just master time itself. Until then, we can marvel at the grandeur of the cosmos and continue to explore the mysteries that it holds. Remember, the universe is not just out there. It's also within us, in the atoms that make up our bodies, in the time that ticks away in our lives. So, as we conclude this journey, let's take a moment to appreciate the wonder of our existence the beauty of our universe and the fascinating interplay of time and space.